Friday night in a pickup softball game? <laughs> I'll tell you about it, man. It was crazy, man. So first of all, they were running it up on these guys. <laughs> they were killing them. Slam dunking them. Boom, 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 boom. But anyway, this is exactly what happened. Um, Michael Cron was running a home base, running from second to home base, killing it, man. I swear, his 40 was like you seen Boat out there, 200-yard dash, man. <laughs> you know, he, got, he got the record for that. But anyway... He, uh, he was running to home base, trying to score, and um, John Campo is hovering the base. And uh, Michael had no choice but to slide. He slid into home base. Slid into John's knee. John tore, tore some ligaments in his knee, and now John's trying to see the man. Hey, Dom. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk in depth about the incident. So it, it took place May 1st, 1988. Uh, the defendant, which Hawk said was uh, Michael Cron, he ran through the plaintiff because the plaintiff was blocking the plate. And uh, John Campo, I mean, excuse me, Michael Cron uh, believed the only way he could score was to run through the catcher. And But um, the plaintiff side of it was that the defendant had enough room to run around him without making physical contact, still score um, and touch home plate. The defendant and the witnesses implied that there was a sliding rule. And by the time the games were being played in the league, all the teams understood that there was a no sliding rule. So that also caused controversy because um, the leagues were aware of the no sliding rule and the defendant ran through him anyway. So remember, like I said again earlier, this is a pickup softball game where there's no umpire. So why does this sliding rule have to come in place? Like, I don't understand why he's suing him for this. Well, let me get a little closer here. Um, the, this uh, case went to New Jersey court first, where they ruled in the favor of the plaintiff, plaintiff John Campo, and claimed that Michael Cron had acted um, negligent and reckless um, with his play. After that, the case went to, after his appeal, it went to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court, they um, affirmed the, the ruling of New Jersey court in July 21st, 1994, saying that it was true. Um, they modified it, but they pretty much came to the same conclusion that Michael Cron had acted recklessly and negligent in the welfare of John Campo in that game. Now, we have a Mercyhurst baseball player here with us, Josh, and we want his opinion on how he feels about this. Well, personally, Michael Cron, he, he was warned. When he first got on base, he slid into second base and he was warned. No sliding rule. So, I mean, automatically he's like, okay, I don't want to hurt anyone with the slider. So, I mean, he's going, he's coming home to score, and the guy's covering the bag. Like, what else do they want him to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, either like you know, slide, and they're gonna yell at him. Maybe you kick him out of the game, or he just he just did what he was told. He ran right through him. So, I mean, I don't find anything wrong with what he did because he was he was following the rules of the game. So, let me ask you a question. Um, do you feel just because he's the one that got injured? This is why this is it, 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 it became a case, even though he the one that he, he kind of started it off where now people are all right, so he wants to slide. Well, let's go ahead and slide. Do you feel like that should have take um you know played a part in the ruling of this case? Yeah, definitely. I mean, first they said no slide. I don't know why what no sliding rule. Like I've never even heard of that before in any sort of softball or baseball game. I mean a lot of people are supposed to slide to avoid injury, like, and they're completely like taking that out of context. Like, yeah, some people slide into second base, break up a double play or something, but he's 
he was just, maybe he was just sliding in there. He wasn't trying to take anyone out. But they tell him, oh, you're not allowed to slide. And then that, I feel like that's just going to cause more injury when he comes in. Um, I don't know if you remember uh, last year, uh, sliding does cause a lot of incidents in baseball, in, yeah, in yeah. professional level. Yeah. I don't know if you remember last year, uh, Jose Batista mm-hmm. sliding into a door. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen it, Google it, YouTube it. It's funny. He made one of the best right hands in, in <laughs> Emmy on television. Um, but yes, yeah, um, sliding has created some controversy in professional level before, but it's not illegal. That's my stance on it, Dom. You, um, or yeah, I feel uh, like if you hover it in the middle of the lane, the baseball lane, but only so wide. I mean, you can't hit him with a Euro step or anything like this. <laughs> but not bad. You can't, sh- can't shake him. It's not football. Only way you have to, only way you can get through him is a ball rush him or a slide. What do you think? Yeah, my opinion is since uh, Michael Cron was able to get away with it when he slid in the second base to break up the double play, there was no repercussions to him. Like he was able to um, remain on second. So I, th- I feel like he's just like, oh, if I could slide once before, maybe I could do it again at home plate because it's like a more important play because he has the opportunity to earn a run for his team. So, uh, and I un- also think that the plaintiff should not have been blocking the bag at all because that's just asking for trouble. Don, let me ask you a question. Um, didn't the plaintiff try to con- play after the incident took place or was it uh, automatic injury? Uh, yeah, he tried to um, walk it off, but when he like t- took a couple steps, his knee buckled. And he ended up suffering a torn ACL from the incident. So he didn't step back on the field. He just, you know, got up to see if he could put yeah. some weight on it? Yeah, he just got back up to see if he could put weight on it. He didn't resume playing. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I was going to say, if he got back up and got in the game, then did it. But yeah. understood, understood. But, yeah, like, it, uh, in 2010, I mean, well, in the 2010s, I should say, pardon um, that's when baseball implemented, you know, you can't crash into the catcher anymore. This is this game took place in 1988. Well, this rule was still valid. Like you could crash to the catcher. I know they said no sliding rule, but if you're gonna block the plate, we are playing baseball. So I mean, you, any, um, any more thoughts? I'm just so puzzled by the fact that it's a pickup softball game. It's no umpire. How are you gonna sue someone? There's no, no referees or anything like that. How are you going to sue someone for sliding into you? How can you even prove that it happened? I guess you could say what? They got well, witnesses? I'm pretty sure there's witnesses. But. <laughs> also, they have, um, they said, like, about the case that lots of people, like, could just join whenever, too. Like, if they needed a new, if they needed a new player, like, they could just be, like, a bystander, they asked, or one of their friends. I mean, he maybe wasn't aware of the rule, no sliding rule the first time he did it. So, I mean, like, he, he was just trying to follow the rules at the, at the end of the day with not sliding and running into the catcher. I think this is silly. And I hope the day never comes where, like, someone gets, let's say we're talking baseball, um, basketball, I should say, and somebody gets dunked on on a pickup basketball game. The guy hits the ground, the one that got dunked on, guy hits the ground, breaks his arm, and sues the guy for get it for dunking on him. Because if that's kind of what happened here. So, uh, but no sliding rule. That's what the Supreme Court ruled on. So, I mean, I guess stick a fork in it. There ain't much to talk about in it. All right, guys, that's basically what happened on Friday night. It was kind of crazy, you know. But I right know, class, what do you guys think?